about time, Lord. All right. That's much better. So, guys, today we will be starting... What is this under, then? Okay. Guys, today we will be starting Fallout New Vegas playing Lonesome Road. It was a poll on my Twitter, and this got the most votes. So let's get into it. I'll try to keep the music playing to a minimum because that might cause my stream to get copyrighted and demonetized, which would not be ideal in the current situation. Um, I plan on streaming for about an hour and a half playing this DLC, and I'm not sure fully what's in store because I've never played this DLC before. I'm having to play this on I'm so glad I'm streaming this. That is definitely going a blooper reel or something. There will be lag spikes as my computer is not the best and you guys will have to tell me how... Oh, hey, Creeper. Nice to see you in stream. Uh, you guys will have to tell me if the audio sounds good or something like that. So, I need to figure out the quest to play to start and then I won't get off the stream so I'll be able to see chat no matter what. Uh, a new radio signal titled only and a new quest of the reunion so we need to start this quest in order to do the DLC so without any further ado let's get into the gameplay travel to Cottonwood travel to the canyon wreckage near Prim and enter the divide now I have no idea what on earth the divide is, but near Good Spring Print. Wait, did that. I say vilified at the Powder Game Camp. That makes sense. So we're finna fast travel to Prim. Guys, tell me how your day's been going. I'm really interested to know. And tell me if the stream's like laggier than normal. And if you talk to me about it, I'll tell you if it's gameplay or not. But guys, uh, the only DLC I've played for New Vegas is uh, Dead Money, which is also one of the options during the poll that was on Twitter. And it got one vote, Old World Blues got one vote, and then this got two, so this is the one that I'm going to do. What is this man's wanting? One of my buddies is trying to call me. I'm having to explain to him what the frick I'm doing so he doesn't do that again. But guys, how far? I gotta go over this mountain? Freaking death. So apparently I'm not going to be able to look at stream because I keep getting bombarded with snapchats about important things that I need to do. What are these? Are these like things that have things to do with things? Oh, these are rock flowers. Okay. See, the last time I played New Vegas was a long, long time ago. And I'll hop on every now and again just to like see what's what. And like see what I've missed. Oh, wait. So it's canyon, so it's got to be like in the canyon, right? That would, that would make the most sense. So I have a little while until my buddy gets here. We're going to do a little exchange. And uh, whenever he gets here, I'll probably end the stream. 
but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long it's going to take him or anything. And I'll check chat in a minute. I'm sorry if anybody said anything. I'm just having to respond to some things right quick. All right. Back in the stream. And nobody said anything, just like I predicted. All right. Start that back up, and now we'll actually get moving. I turned the latency over to low latency, so now it should be closer when it comes to you uh, putting something in chat and me responding to it whenever I see it on my phone. Because I'm, it took me forever to figure out how on earth to stream this game the way you're seeing it. Now, I agree the black bars being uneven kind of gives me anxiety, and I bet it gives some other people anxiety as well. But that's the best I could do considering that... The frick is that? I see it moving, but vats don't want to pick it up. Oh, it's a coyote. Bro, what's going on with its eyes? That looked like me when I was trying to fix my stream. Uh, I would open New Vegas to put it in OBS. And I would get locked in a, in a New Vegas and my mouse wouldn't be able to leave. And I had to hold shift tab together to open this uh, dialogue right here. And it tells you like how long it's been. Two hour, I've had two hours in the past week and 15 total. That's not a lot at all. Whenever you consider that some people play this game for like a week, week's amount of time on end. Whoa, looks like there's villain. Oh. Just little coyotes. That was amazing. So I'm halfway through the Lord Death perk, and now we're at the canyon wreckage. I need to check my carry weight. Whoa, that was pretty uh, spicy just now. That was good. Let's reload and check my carry weight for this mission. Uh, my carry weight's fine. Travel to the Divide. Courier 6. Lonesome Road. Hold on now. You can go home, Courier. The Divide. Lonesome Road. Roll credits. So it looks like somebody knows about Courier 6. I'm not sure which Courier I am just because I'm kind of a bot at games and I don't really know all the lore of uh, Fallout New Vegas. The coordinates you Lonesome Road at the top. The coordinates you receive lead you to this canyon filled with storm tossed wreckage. Beyond lies the divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced couriers level 25 or higher. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead nor bring anything you find out with you you can carry whatever equipment gear you have with with you without restrictions however if the journey proves too difficult and you need to resupply you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time if you're prepared to continue on if you're prepared to continue on into the storms of the divide history awaits so anything we find in this DLC isn't can't come back with the player character apparently well, let's walk the lonesome road. The silo. Let me read the quest update. Navigate Hopeville Missile Silo to reach the lonesome road. Let me check around for anything that might be of use. I see something red shining out in the distance. But I haven't seen any enemies so far. And you can see storms going on. And sorry that my mouse did that little weird thing. I was turning my uh, mouse pad to better like suit my hand. But bros, I've been on, oh dear lord, I've been on Minecraft all day. So being able to play a different game is really refreshing and I really am finna enjoy this little stream. And this is going to be a Let's Play series, so these streams will be coming once a week, maybe once every two weeks, I'm not sure. Hopeville Ballistic Defense Station, authorized military personnel only. Let's travel into the Hopeville Missile Silo. It's the Lonesome Road. You can go home, Courier, again. 
Whoa, that's kind of uh, ominous. Somebody's expecting me, huh? Programmer's Digest. The console controls access to the silo itself, but is encrypted beyond your ability to hack. You will need to find something that can break the encryption in order to proceed. Okay, so that'll probably be like the very end of the DLC is opening those blast doors. Activate maintenance access level three. Welcome user, unlock maintenance access door. Okay, maintenance access status. Unlocked, the logs, main power offline, emergency power standby, maintenance report level one, level two, and level three, all inactive. And now the door is open, but to the reactor still seems to be locked, which will be unlocked with that terminal there. So, let's go to the utility room and look around before we enter. Scan with VATS for a second. Ac activate commissionary terminal. Terminal can only be unlocked by an iBot. Hmm. Uh, open the desk. What's in here? Pack of cigarettes. Those are useful sometimes. Okay. Uh, arc welder. And I assume that's ammo for it. So let's go ahead and equip the arc welder and get a good look at it. I have 30 plus 29 is 59 electronic packs. It's got effects, EMP bonus damage versus robots and power armor. And it looks like a reskinned slash redesigned. Feel like a kid again. One out of two. Find all Ralphie posters and take a Nuka-Cola Quartz. That's pretty cool. And then we can get this iBot to do that. But this gun looks really cool compared to some of the other guns that I found in other DLCs. But let's look through this. So we're going to start from the bottom and then go up because that's the last thing I want to do. A commissionary reminder. Attention all base personnel. This is just a reminder that all base commissionary terminals draw from the same central depository. Please do not waste your time or the technicians by running from commissionary to commissionary. You won't get any more whiskey than you did from the first one. Okay. Commissionary notice. Attention all base personnel, the automatic commissionary system has been locked down until further notice. It turns out that the counterfeit proof pay chits we've been issuing to you are exactly the same size and shape as ordinary bottle caps. So this is also using bottle caps. Oh wait, no, 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 no. So people could use the bottle caps to get the, uh, you, we can use bottle caps as chits in this, uh, let's play. Hold on, I'm still responding to this dude here. All right, so we can use bottle caps as chits in this uh, playthrough. Apparently it's like the currency of the divide. We've been issuing the exact same size as ordinary bottle caps until we can correct the problem. You'll have to make your purchases the old fashioned way. Maintenance department log. Main power, oh, that's the same thing as before. Bot pod status locked, let's unlock it and it changes to unlocked. And then once we leave it, so what happens if I, okay, that just zooms in. Oh, Christ. Hello. Ralphie, fly far, fly fast. This is an Eddie. Excited beeping. 
What was that sound you played? Some kind of memory glitch? Thank you. No, it wasn't your boot-up sequence, it was a recording, something... Wait, I can understand this thing? Hold on! Evasive beeping. I think I could use your help. Can you come with me? Eddie has given you enhanced sensors. Experiment log 369248-B. I bought DuraFrame Universal Interface Override System. This is Dr. Whitley presiding. We've boosted signal gain and enlarged the overflow buffer system. That should ensure 100% connectivity and control. Eddie, whenever you're ready. Yes, success. <clears throat> um, reporting full success on 369248-B. Eddie was able to interface with and override the test panel in under three seconds. Great job, team. Now let's start on the proposal for the full rollout. That's a recording from your development. Are you saying you can override electronic circuitry? Expository beeping. Only panels with a dish-shaped receiver, like the console in the main room. Okay. Okay, I leveled up. Let's... Oh, all my normal things are already upgraded. Okay, what am I going to get then? Hmm. Chat, you decide. What do I get? I like to put all my points into one thing. So, you guys get to decide. Whoever's here, anyway. I know there's one person, at least. Give you, like, a minute. But for real, for real, guys. This game is really fun. I think this is, like, the second fallout i ever played i've been through the storyline multiple times i played it while i was in my dad's house on the 360 and the ps3 because uh we didn't really have wi-fi over there and whenever i did go to play something it would have to be on the xbox like skyrim or something that's actually what my very 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 first youtube video was recorded on it was on my dad's 360 at his house over three years ago and that's a crazy thing to say uh that i've been uploading for almost three years but if you guys aren't gonna decide then i'll just put it into half and half repair and lock pick and then we're gonna be done with that level up but assuming we can have Eddie unlock that terminal. And there's the little dish-shaped thing he was talking about. Eddie has unlocked a commissionary for you. Access universal repair interface. And I can repair something with bottle caps and my repair- apparently this repair skill is 100 no matter what. And it's gonna- oh Christ Lord! What on earth? That wasn't supposed to happen. Access the commissionary, and now we can buy things for bottle caps as well. What do they have? They have C4 explosives, a detonator, and flashbangs. And then we got breathing mask, which we're probably going to need, so I'm going to go ahead and snag that. And then we got some armor, like a riot gear helmet and other things like that. We have auto injector stem packs, auto inject super stem packs, and then regular stuff. I do have a couple of caps to spare. Red glare alpha strike, increased speed of rockets. Okay, let's just accept that deal and exit. Actually, let's try to sell something to it because there's some things in here I don't need, like this revolver and the BB gun. Oh uh, my goodness, I'm trying to look at what I don't have ammo for, or things that are kind of dumb-dumb. Okay, 
let's look through this. Let's get rid of the hockey mask, the NCR armor, the rawhide cowboy hat, sheriff's hat, and one of those outfits, and that outfit. And then we can go into our misc. And I think we should keep all of that and keep all of that. So now we can accept that and exit again. Opening this door though. So I was wrong straight out the gate. It's not, uh, this is not the end of the DLC to open up this thing. Let's have Eddie unlock that terminal for me while I change weapons back to Maria because that's my favorite weapon by far. And even with my flashlight, this DLC seems to be a really quiet kind of DLC. Turn the silo's power back on. Happy beep. Whoa, okay. So there's an iBot in there trying to repair a missile. Hmm, two iBots now. Trying to do something with a missile. Now we can go into the reactor chamber and look at this destroyed iBot. Take everything. You found a module from Evoken iBot that can upgrade Eddie. Installing this module grants you the first rank of Comrader E perk, allowing Eddie to repair you, your currently equipped weapons once per day. This perk is accessed through Eddie's dialogue. You can find more upgrade modules. Further ranks of the perk will be unlocked. When you return to the Mojave, these upgrades will carry over to the original Eddie as well. That's so good to know. So we can upgrade the old Eddie. Scared beeping for a while. Thanks for warning me ahead of time if something happens. And it looked like those two iBots just now disappeared. Okay, let's try to unlock this. Dud removed, dud removed, dud removed, dud removed, and now there's only adopted, just like me, I'm just kidding. Alright, we can unlock the holo- we can unlock the hydraulics door and the access status is unlocked. We can grab the scrap electronics, scrap metal, the ashtray, the electron charge packs, all that duct tape, you know duct tape's useful, grab all of that, anything we need to drop later, we can, it's not like we gotta hold this stuff forever, we're just keeping a hold of it for now, just in case something happens. So I think the auto inject things are absolutely brand new, just because I've never seen something like that in this game before. And I've played a lot of New Vegas. I played all of Dead Money, and it took me maybe three days. It took me... I don't think I've completed the main story on the PC yet, and I definitely haven't checked out mods. That should be a thing that I do eventually. Bro, how'd you get right what the there? Rant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Whitley, there you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot Duraframe project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too. You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here. I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here. Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. At least until I tell the colonel about this. Sounds like Dr. Whitley really cared about Eddie. Why is he avoiding who Ralphie is? Hey, hey, hey. Calm down.
sorry, but we gotta keep moving, bro. Let's just grab that and keep on trucking. Uh, there's a terminal over here we can look at right quick. There's a security control level 2, so it sounds like there's going to be something attacking us from security. Okay. And now is the time that we start removing these duds. And that's why I like to use all my, all my allowances except for one. Because there's always one of these things that says... Oh, your allowances are replenished. Yay. Okay, let's deactivate secondary security status. And they're inactive. Primary systems offline. I'm sorry. What on... Was that a sentry bot just now? That would have been death and a half just now. What is that? I gotta open. There's probably something very useful in that desk, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna start upgrading my lock picking as well. Christ, it's already almost been 30 minutes. And we're not even out of the missile silo yet. Oh dear lord, this is. Who this is. Dead marked man. Is he. Is he skinned alive? Or like, has been skinned? Marked man ravenger, a marked scout armor, and a bowie knife. Hey. Talk to... No, 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 follow me. Talk to... Um... Uh... Okay, I think I did... Let me access your multi-tools. I want to make something. Oh, I can make things straight out the gate. And I can make an auto-injector stim pack right now let's make one and continue going oh there's a villain and it's a sentry bot is there a t there is a terminal the terminal is damaged and i'm not able to fix it uh hey eddie can you repair something from me or for me Christ. Wait, I can make... Christ, lord, there's a lot of ammo at, in at this game. But yo, can you like... Can I tell you to do something? That's batarded. Please don't be another one in here. Like, please. Okay, time stops when I do this. Let me grab the arc welder. It's more damage against robots this way. Let me search him. Grab his. Why does he have legionary money on him? Okay, let's check him while Eddie takes care of that dude. Christ, what is that? Did that just kill the whole thing? Lord, this is a good weapon. And it turned it into dust. Absolutely bonkers this weapon is. Is that another one? Oh Christ, there's three. Okay. 
just a pistol there. Take all of that. Search General Martin Redstaff. He has a harmonica, leather belt, a pack of cigarettes, and a U.S. Army General. Even though he's a ghoul, there's an empty whiskey bottle beside him. That's a shame. Okay. Okay. And now we start getting rid of the duds. Hopefully, just hopefully, this will get rid of all of them. Because if it doesn't, I'm finna have it. Or it gets rid of the ones that I know. That I. Mm, I don't really know how to explain it, but it has to be this now. Because that was the only one left that hadn't already been used. Let's deactivate personal sentry system. Let's act. Let's open the doors. Okay. Whew. Glad I deactivated the systems first. Is there something I should know about this place? Is that a plasma rifle? Toolbox is always good, and ammunition box is always even better. But now I'm confused about where on earth to go. There's somewhere else I can go. Like, through here, through that door. And there's sentry bots here. Two in there, but there's people on the other side. Hopefully not enemies. It requires a key. How nice. Search him. No key. That's the main entrance. The door is activated somewhere else. Kind of like a uh, mainframe control. That's unlocked. Getting back to the stream. Still nobody saying anything in chat. Thank you. I appreciate you. So now, hopefully, we should be able to unlock this door. No. What do you mean, no? Oh, wait. I have to activate it. Let's open the bunker doors. And get ready for an all-out attack. Yep, I was right. Oh, dear lord. Dear lord. I have... What do you mean I have zero chance to hit? Do I have to be close or something? What happened? Continue. Okay, that's one of them dealt with. And Eddie's unconscious. And my armor condition is super low now. What am I wearing? The trooper helmet and the Wastelander outfit. Let's put on US General outfit and Sierra Madre helmet. Hey, Tard. like a rocket launcher or something because that would really help what let's actually look at what I have pulse grenade it's EMP so extra damage to robots I don't know if it exploded or not but it sure did something 
Let's keep using the arc welder and see how that fares us against this. That one's already dead. There's a turret there. That's what's going on. So why can't I just like close this door? Genius. Let's like a heal up now. Let's uh, let's get some healing in us. You know, I like I like to be healed. Let's drink that martini. Where's my health at? My health went up. My health went up. So why won't it let me like kill you? What would it take to just like completely go ham on you with something? What do I need? I had like an automatic version of this so I could just be like like the pistol not the like laser weapon I know there's an automatic laser gun a limb is broken let's use the hollow rifle I don't think I've used that in a fat minute I actually have I keep no idea where I got this from. I just know that now I have it, so let's use it. reload that and get ready for you that's better and there's supposed to be something there that's good so this weapon is just cheat claps to these things oh my goodness did you see that look I ripped its whole arm off we can check these Markman Hunters. Grab that stim pack off him. You owe me after what you just made me spend. Check these things. And there's one enemy left, and it's that turn outside. That's the enemy, apparently. And these military shipping crates are apparently fun to be very useful down the line. Now, if I could find a way to get out of here after I loot these other things, it would be fantastic. Because I would ha I would have a smacks placed in the, in the stream if that would work. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, wow. That's crazy. Oh, it's around the corner and up the bend. You can go home, courier. Apparently, I'm not wanted here. Been live for almost about 35 minutes now. There's your signal. Faint, but there. You came. Good. Curious, maybe. You want the Mojave without a flag on your back? That'll end soon. Can't walk the long 15 and not have a nation's shadow fall on you. Maybe you just need to be tested. Or you believe in nothing. He sounds we'll like see. one of the companions off Skyrim. 
like the actual companions, not the companion. I'm a courier. Courier 6 was Courier 6. Like you, and not like you. In all the ways that matter. That's fine. Spent too many years looking for you. Now letting you come to me. Thought carrying that ship would end you. No. You've got lives in you. Hard to kill. Storms, bullets, sand and wind. Yet still you walk. For now. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. So, oh wow. So you're the one who sent the radio message. Ulysses. Not my given name. Close enough. Took it from history. Found it in a book. It's an old world name. Ulysses lived a long time ago. There you go. Long before the old world set fire to itself. He made a mark without being myth. Had to fight during a time when his world had two flags. And he had to make them one. Alright, so Ulysses, not the myth, you're honoring history, not stories, and you brought me here to talk. If you wanted to kill me, you'd have waited until I came for the chip. History, yes. Ulysses walked a hard road. A general, like Caesar and Oliver. He was brown and stubborn, gave him strength on the battlefield. He led his side to victory, turned two flags into one. That's when he lost. When the fighting was done, the sickness took hold. Lesson there, if history is to be believed, one you should heed. And you brought me here? If you wanted to kill me, you'd have waited until I came for the chip. No. No, I couldn't. And I'm thinking you can't kill me either. If you did, you'd answer for it, just as I would. Let the lambs do the killing for you. That's one of the things you taught me. Killing is personal. So those vows, promises, last bits more important to me than the first. He swore not to kill me. Why? What kind of world would this be if Courier killed Courier? You've got enough distance ahead of you. Save your breath for the road. Don't waste it on words. Enough talking. You went to a lot of trouble to lure me here. So let's get on with this. America sleeps ahead of you. It's nightmares filled with quakes, storms. You'll need to find your own path. That means waking America's spears up from their slumber. There's ways. Warheads set off collapse. Warheads could open the gates again. You're resourceful. That machine and robot with you can help you find the warheads you need to destroy. And their trigger, the detonator. The way ahead is below. The tools are there. The rest, up to you. If we share history, then before going forward, I want to know the past. Who are you who do not know your history? You came all this way for answers. Only currency I have. Nothing else to be gained. Could turn around, walk away at any time. If history matters to you, you'll need to earn it. Any laws of mine, I have already cast away in the divide. They're lost to you. For now, find the trigger for the warheads buried in Hopeville. Use it to keep moving and keep alive. Hmm. I'll find this trigger, and then I'll come find you. 
The divide will send its worst against you. It may break you. We'll see if you're stronger. Road gets rougher from here. Courier left marks for you. Colors will tell the way if you're smart. They'll lead you to your home one more time. Lead to the ending of it. Maybe remind you why you wander. Alright, so that completes the silo quest. And now we've, uh, we've learned a little bit more about this DLC, but all those answers from Eddie just open up so many more questions. Like, who is the Courier 6? Ulysses, he calls himself, but we don't know his real name. Not yet, anyway. We don't know why he's here in the Divide, why he has some kind of death wish against me, calling me out here. Why did I come? What am I trying to learn? Am I trying to learn who he is, or am I trying to learn my place in the wasteland? Am I trying to learn the history of this courier, or am I trying to learn my own? Am I trying to upgrade Eddie, or am I trying to leave? <laughs> See, we'll find this all out on next week's Fallout New Vegas stream. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around with me, and if you're watching this on the flip side when you replay it later i want to thank you guys for watching this whole video if you've seen the whole video already and you're at this point comment hashtag courier six that way i know who's the real people who get a heart on their comment i won't touch this dlc again until the next time we play together which will probably what's today Sat sunday it'll probably be maybe Wednesday of this next week, possibly Tuesday, a uh, tweet will be sent out on my Twitter to let you know what's what, when. Apparently my flashlight's been off this whole time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one real soon. Peace.